everybody else in the room on the back and put some music on let everybody get in i want everybody to see this from the start so i'll start you out with this little tune good morning everybody grab your coffee i have been working my butt off catching all kinds of stuff good morning garrison hey let me take a little bit of break i've been doing this for like two hours before i start so hang and uh i'm gonna give you a little slideshow to start out so it's gonna be on its own um let me do that for you it takes a second Okay, I'm just going to go a temporary slideshow. Keep you guys busy this morning. And I'm going to put it on medium speed. Good morning, good morning, everybody. So watch this little slideshow while I take a second break. I've been setting up for two hours, and we're going to do this 30-minute uh, Alcapulco Sky, and then we're going to do some filtering maybe on another live one. I'll come back back to back. But anyways, this is 16,400 pictures. Some are filtered and some are not. Some are consecutive, one shot after another, same area, but they're different shots. I made videos out of them. So enjoy this while you get a coffee. Well, I get a coffee, I should say. You guys here okay? Let me know. I think you're okay. Good deal. Music ain't too crazy. I'm working on my music. I want to see what I'm, I'm studying is vmix it's the second or the first best cheapest best broadcaster I'll be back you can just slide from all you guys was made for three years so you can see some awesome stuff there for a second enjoy my living room atmosphere
All right, we live. Well, uh, 23 watching and 12, 10 thumbs up. Hi, everybody. Let me say hi to everybody. What's up? I'm watching the chat right now. So if you guys want to talk to me, now's your chance. Because when I go to work, uh, I might not be able to see you so easy. But on my new mixer, on my new broadcaster, I'll be able to see you. I'm going to try to be able to get all the chats to come in so I can see at the same time. They don't make it very easy to broadcast. You got to. He's somewhat of a rocket scientist. Hey, Garrison. What's up? Good morning, brother. You ready to go up? You got your wings? You got your wings? What kind of picture is that, Chris? I don't know. I try to keep this folder cleaned up, guys, but I'm putting so many pictures. I'm Sometimes I'm putting 700 pictures a day in here. Hi, Laura. What's up? So I'm just going to chat for a minute with you guys because I haven't been doing that a lot. been doing those filtering shows. Today's capture. Hey, look at the pool on that one. Today's capture is going to be uh, Alcapoco. All day yesterday, I'm sitting there in amazement. I couldn't figure out what was going on. And uh, finally, I got a clue. What was happening was there was a moon going in and out. There was planets going in and out. The whole sky is like a movie theater in the south. The sun goes up and over, right? And then, boom. A moon and I'm going okay maybe that's not a moon maybe it's just a white cloud and then they did it again and then a striped planet came through three times I think a blue planet came through twice but they all come through kind of simultaneously like you see that picture right there they kind of come through just like that you know with the multiple planets stacked up so anyways I got 26 people I'm gonna go ahead and put the movie on and uh, it's got its own little music You guys ready for Alcapoco? I like this picture right here. And I caught us uh, like six of these pictures of this purple planet thing here. Anyway, let me dial in, see if it will let me do my sound. It used to let me do the sound straight from the video, but now they don't let me do that. I don't know. You know, Windows 10, guys, uh, for sound sucks. Just give you that heads up on that one. And here we go. Showtime. Quiet in a set. <laughs> Whole new 
quality. We're going to go up a step. We're looking south. So. This is time lapse. It's 1080p. I'm trying to learn how to get that 1080p quality, and I think I got it. Um, anyways, this is El Capoco facing south, southwest a little bit. It's about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. I did about 12 clips on this, so I, if I lose one, I wouldn't lose the whole thing. So, welcome, welcome, grabby coffee. So, it kind of looks like just clouds, right, in Mexico. I like the way I say Alcopoco. I do it on purpose for AI. <laughs> but anyways, right up in here, guys, I, I wasn't thinking... Hang on a second. I wasn't thinking much of this. Um, there's my settings. You need to see them. I got a little trick here I do. I lower the screen. That way, when I'm talking to you, I don't get all that crazy stuff on top and bottom. I'm going to show you something. So right here, you know, I was thinking it might be a planet ripping through. This is on the 26. And I kept watching. And I said, like, it looks like maybe a planet here, right? So I wasn't sure. So I said, I'm going to record this whole day. But then this right here became very obvious. If you could hang out to the end, it's um, like a 35, 40 minute video. I'm going to show this planet come in six different ways. Um, see this dark blue up here? It is a planet. But I'm going to show you this come in a little bit from a small planet way off. I'm going to show you this white moon come in from a small planet way off. So if I get a little lag on here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 720p. But right now my internet's pretty clear. I guess people are going back to work and they're not plowing the internet. But there is the uh, lead object of our two moon. Now, you guys know that uh, <clears throat> that Nibiru has two moons. Amara, 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 and then it's Nana. Those are the two moons of uh, Nibiru. But there's a few other moons. I don't know the names of them all. I don't think nobody does. There's a lot of moons. You're also going to see an asteroid at the end of this thing rip through to the right. So it becomes so apparent it's an asteroid or a lead object or some type of uh, OCG. I'm going to drop the quality down a little bit so I don't get that, that lag. Right? This also cuts my music out. I don't like that. Sorry about that guy. Maybe that buffing will stop. Man, I hate to lower the quality. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up. I'm only worried about the music skipping, so I gotta fix to that. I'm gonna go back to 1080 because it's a better quality. This way, you guys at least get the, the highest quality you can get. That's how my show goes. You know, when it's live. Off the cuff like this, you know. This one's not off the cuff. I planned this. Actually, I had another live one going to go yesterday, but I never made it. I just got too tired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that music from irritating you guys, and I'm gonna put up some real music. So, other than my spelling, my whole thing's gonna go to a whole new level, guys. I will have no problem with the sound. Uh, I'm actually trying to learn the microphone on the new mixer. So it's kind of funny because um, everything else works good, the music and all, but the microphone I'm having a hard time with. So what's right over here? That's how you guys are doing. Good morning, Bud, Garrison. What's up, Laura? I just go through the list. Pierce, hey, what's up? Margie. Uh, early bird. Who came in early bird? <laughs> so I'm gonna do a. Um, I'm gonna do just a mu uh, music version of this, guys. Later on next week, I'll put the same video back up. But I'm gonna filter. This one has no filters at all. This is absolutely no filters. And I'm gonna put the filtered version up with a different. Uh, same same kind of music. Yeah, Bob. 
my head's been ringing. That's one of the reasons I haven't been going live because I've been kind of feeling like I'm getting exhausted sometimes for no reason. You know, just tired. I think it has to do with that Schumann effect. Thanks, Garrison. We will. You guys do a channel and want to put up a link, let me know. I'll okay the link. If I know you, I'm going to okay your link. No problem. No point off. I'm going to your site right now, Garrison. <laughs> I watched this the other day. That was my link. <laughs> that was crazy. Hey, June Sutherland, what's up? So right now, guys, let me show you this. What I think is happening here. Now we're watching the all day sky here, and it's time lapse. All that stuff that moved over. Okay, now watch. I said to myself, this looks like a planet coming in. You know, but I wasn't really that sure. So I tried to get the best bang for the buck on the on the quality. That's why we got the buck rings. Don't worry about it. But right here, now this is not the sun, folks. This is south. It's about around noonish. Um, you'll see the sun shine, right? So I want to show you the sun coming through around noonish. It's actually way up here it's up higher okay but there's this moon that just keeps circling around you see this planet up here it's going down so as you watch this now this you would say to yourself that's the Sun right no watch because it's going left for one thing the Sun is going right to the west we're looking south now watch you see this red planet right here you see the uh, R2's moon right there. Let me go back to that. Oh, right there. Okay. Back here you got Nibiru. Up here you got Nipissi, the green one. Oh, this is going to be what it wants. Okay. You got uh, the orange planet here the stripes we've been seeing that right and we also the smaller one with the stripes now in this video you see these little yellow rocks see Doug's been getting these yellow meeting asteroids we're gonna see this thing rip through with a couple of these I believe at the end the Sun's back here trying to shine of course we got the Sun simulated somewhere out here somewhere up here trying to simulate the Sun you know we've been seeing the green green the green green right you see these two planets and uh, Saru and I don't even know. I'm not even going to guess. Uh, you got R2. This is lead object, I, I believe. This might be uh, the red planet. Not Nemesis, not Wormwood. It's a reddish planet. It's really close. So let's, let's watch, right? Watch what happens. Okay. So we had the first session go through. Now it's around noonish. You think this is the sun? I did, and but it's going left when the sun should be going right. Now watch happens over here. It gets all like another planet coming through. This planet's going down right here. You'll see it a couple times because in this day, it actually goes up and down. And I kept thinking, did I go back? You know, I'm just telling you what I, what I experienced. This was yesterday, all day, or two days ago, and. Uh, so yesterday I put this together and I put another thing together. But I needed to rest. My brain was swimming. But watch up here. You're going to see possibly like a small moon, I remember, if I remember right. And then I was going to myself, well, there's the planet on the left. This is obvious, a planet like right over here. Now, even though the picture shows them stacked up high, like up here, right, it's hard to kind of like, just picture the sun straight out and on the left that it was what we're watching so that right there is not the sun that's a reflection of the planets moving around white planets white moons but if you just picture the sun in front of you and then in front of the sun up on the right left center bottom different planets and as it's coming towards us these planets are retro orbiting so they're coming at us like it's not really from the south 
they're in front of the sun. So wherever the sun is, left and right, you're going to see different shadows. And that's going to give you indication like this one on the left. Now, you see this shadow coming in on the right here? This is no filters, guys. A lot of you are saying I'm just doing too many filters. So um, I got people quitting because I'm using too many filters. So I don't want them to quit. I want, I want you to be able to see it, though. And right here is the whole striped planet coming in. Well, it looks straight. You hear it? Now, just watch. Now, if this is the sun, it's actually going left, and it's not right because it's not the sun. It's the white moon that's actually orbiting. Here's a striped planet that's actually moving around orbiting. And as I, as I watched this happening, I, I couldn't put it together because I was doing stuff in the yard. I come back and look at it a little bit. I did them in segments so I wouldn't lose a section. Now, this is without filters. I said, man, they got to be able to see this, you know. Hi, Tony. What's up? Tony the Sky Collection. Tony the Sky Collector. <laughs> what's up? So what's going on, on the left there? You just notice it. It's crazy. On the right, the big stripey planet is coming through, which I'm thinking it's not Nemesis. I'm thinking it's like a uh, two. Okay, but you got to watch. You'll see some reddish. Okay, no filter, right? But you'll see right here in the middle. Okay, this is the planet right there, guys. And the sun's up around here somewhere. Like right up in there. This thing right here is time-lapse. I recorded it at time-lapse times two, and I increased it to as fast as I can go without messing it up. That was pretty fast. So a 10-minute clip lasts like a minute and a half, two minutes, something like that, three minutes. I don't know the exact, the, the exact science. I, I kind of use sliders and go by eye, you know. Anyways, you got the... Uh, Minneapolis, is it Minneapolis riot? I have a friend here that asked me if I wanted to go to the, the kind of protest about opening the stores. I said, no, I wasn't called to do that, but I could easily go. But um, I just don't feel led that it's my part to go. Um, now, everybody's not like that. <laughs> it's really radical in the streets, huh, Bob? <laughs> Thank you, Garrison. Someone asked me if I was going to quit because it's just like I'm getting so shadow banned. No, I figure the thousand people, the thousand people that this video, video 1,500 people that see it, I would say 40% are you guys that are faithful. But the other 60% are all brand new people, and I'm advertising in 187 low countries, um, not all at one time. Okay, watch this, guys. I want to show you this. So I'm getting, I'm getting out there, uh, right here. You see this dark spot right here? See that dark spot? I was thinking it was a planet, and then as I started watching this, you'll see it throughout the day because I'm doing as I'm going, just cherry picking now where there is just really good activity. But this is a planet that comes towards us like this, and this right here is your moon. Now it's coming through again. This is like an hour later. And so I started seeing this, and I said, no, nah, I can't be that easy. Because you'll see what I'm talking about right here. You'll see it a few times. So hang out. Don't run away if you want to see what really the guys are doing. I, I like these videos of, of guys are like, let me tell you the scientific approach and what's really going on. And then you got the guys from Space Only Guys. Um, I'm the, the anomalies in the sky guy, you know, last days, tripped out skies with tripped out music <laughs> now see this this object right here becomes a big blue planet it, it, it grows it comes towards us and this one oh you got to see this and this over here i'm still in debate about it so those are my opinions right <laughs> this is my degree of watching y'all you knew all you new uh, subscribers, I'm getting like a handful a day. 
Uh, I've been losing like uh, they started doing this to me. I'm like losing 14 people a day. I think it's all lies. I think they just turn people's channels off. Um, I'd say out of 13,500 subs, probably 500 are notified, maybe 400, which is not too bad, I don't think. <laughs> hey, Farmer, what's up? Maggie, hi, good morning. So you remember I was telling you about that little dark blue spot, right? Right here. It's getting bigger. This is that little dark blue one I circled. Now look at the white one. It's coming right at us. It's coming at us and over us. Now the sun is right about here. Look at the shadows down here, guys. You can locate the sun. See how the shadows are throwing down on the bottom? Very important that you see that. The sun's way over, way over there, you know? We're just get us so the sun, all the arrow, it's all the way over here. Boom. Okay, here comes that. You're starting to see it, right? The white moon again. Now, my take on that white moon coming back and forth, and even that blue planet that's going to get larger in a second. To the left of that white planet, looks like it's part of the sky, but then um, my take is, is the bigger planets are all like right there, left and right of the sun, and they kind of move up and down and in and out because they're in a different orbit. They're not like our orbit at all. They're like, so anyways, they're coming at us. The sun's back there. The planets are in front of the sun on the right, left, and on top. So you got to have your imagination working right now, guys. So now... When we see them from Earth, we're seeing them close up, we're seeing them far away. And what's funny is some days they're really far away, they're moving different, you don't see them so much, and then some days the whole sky goes black, and all kinds of weird clouds come in, which a lot of it's their clouds. So there's my narrate on here, check it out. Now, if you really can see that moon, then you got eyes to see, because that moon is not the sun, See this up here? Not just a blue sky. It develops, guys. And don't get stuck watching the waves because they're pretty cool time lapse. <laughs> and you notice how good the social distancing is in Alcapoco beaches? Nobody. It's like a thousand dollar fine down in Alcapoco. You get picked up on the beach. And you're not supposed to be out there. Right here. No, check it out. It's coming back through. Now it's coming at us, so it gets bigger. Up here, the little black dot is developing. And there is a few UFOs floating around. Anyways, I've been working steadily, guys, the last couple of days. I just didn't want to talk to nobody. I felt like I was losing it on the internet. Every time I do something, old AI will come by, Al comes by and throws a couple arrows at me, people. And then a couple, uh, somebody asked me yesterday, Doug asked me, you going to quit? And I go, no, I can't quit. Three years, I ain't quitting nothing. I, Sarah, I told Sarah, I told Doug yesterday, I told everybody, I ain't quitting nothing. It's just going to get better from here on in. And, uh, you know, if nobody wants to come to my shows or they don't want to show it, I mean, I, I actually think if I advertise 50 bucks on the end, I want to throw 50 bucks down. I'll advertise the best video I got, see what happens. But uh, you guys got to help me. I'll make you all moderators. <laughs> I was watching a channel yesterday with uh, Minnesota. had 17,000 people in the chat. And so 17,000 people in the chat, guys, is like you're going to be paying YouTube for bandwidth. So that guy had to pay bandwidth money, like probably a thousand bucks to broadcast that. Ain't that nuts? Nuts. Garrison, I'm gonna have to do a shout out on your channel. Now look guys, look, no lie. I told you to pay attention to that little black dot. Remember the white dot? Remember the white planet? I said, watch this, is gonna turn into a white moon. Remember I said the little black one? I kept thinking it was something. Well, as the day went on, and as I did the video, and as I cleaned it all up, and no filters on it, right? It was easy. 
this big little black dot became this blue planet right up here. So you got to read between the clouds when there's no filter, right? It's like uh, Evelyn Wood's cloud speed reading course. Now, you remember I tell you about the striped planet that was right to the left of the red planet on the picture, right? Watch this little striped planet. Now, remember, they got their own cloud systems. They're close. You see it. See the clouds ripping off of this moon. This is one of, I believe it's one of Nibiru's moons, the white one right there. The striped one, I believe, is Nibiru. I mean, uh, uh, too. Okay, then the little black one's getting bigger, right? <laughs> You'll see. It's a trip. Only my friends can understand on here what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, all you guys that are watching, this looks like it's just a bunch of clouds, and you're going like, this is a bunch of BS, you know? Well, I don't think so. Will you guys go and Sarah to the park? Look at the blue planet on the left just get darker and the one on the right because it's coming. They're orbiting around other planets. So if they're orbiting, if this white one's orbiting up and to the left and then coming back down around the right and coming back way far away, right? I'm circling it. It's coming at us and up. Now, as it comes up and over, it's probably orbiting to the left and around, and it comes back again. I couldn't figure it out all day. Yeah, good, Sarah. Good things happen in parks. Amen, Max. Amen. Right on. I, I see the benefit of that, of a, like a personal community. I come on personally. I don't just do a robot live show like some guys go live stream. And it's a bunch of cut up stuff, and the guy never talks for real like a robot. Yeah, Max, I think of 25, 50 cameras are shut down. All of them. This is Al Capoco. I can't. That's why I said it's going to be something good in Al Capoco because I haven't been able to get this cam. So you look at that, Max. Look at how circular. Look at that. Clear, right? This is what they're hiding, people. This is not the sun. Now, the little blue planet, when it first came, you're going to see it again. It's going back around. It's literally going to, this whole thing is going to orbit back through the sky. Let me see. How long we got on this video, on this live? We got about 20 minutes. So what I did was, I, this is pre-recorded, of course, to do what I'm doing. But a little black dot that was over here earlier, guys, is this big planet that's coming at us. And then the little white cloudy looking thing is this big white moon coming at us or our two's moon. So I'm not so caught up. And if I get the names perfect, you guys might get like even this right now. I'm showing you how I'm putting the dots. I'm not sure how big that is, really. It's, it's developing pretty quick. So I'm kind of reading it as I go, guys. So like over here, I'm reading some asteroid activity and some OCG obstacle cluster junk over here. See that little pink hue? Now watch this. Doesn't look like much, right? But all of a sudden you see this. Our uh, two's big and white. And it cover half the sky if it wants to. So I kind of laying it out kind of how I see it. Yeah, Garrison. See, I, I'm totally on mandate. I, I'm commissioned by God himself to four visions. No mistake. I got friends that won't talk to me about this. They won't even mention the word planet. Never mind planet X. And I asked the Lord, he says, they don't want to see it. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to wake up to it. They want to think it's all going to be revival, which it is, which it is now for me. And, uh, and a lot of kids are in revival right now with the Lord so it's going on but nevertheless it doesn't matter if all my friends leave God told me to do this and if you guys all leave I'm gonna still do this because there's always new people coming in and new people waking up and new people getting refreshed and then charged up by God and being encouraged that Jesus loves them you know there you go so I like the way this is developing right here, guys. I was having a hard time reading it. See me up having a hard time reading it, but it gets clear. Watch. <laughs> so 
it's time lapse a little bit here. Not too bad. But uh, that's out too, the big white one. Possibly out to his moon is that right? That white, smaller one that I got the thing over right there. It's coming right at us, guys. Just keeps developing. And I'm going to go back. So hang on. Now, you remember the little striper planet? It's starting to over overcast that dark blue one over here. The stuff is just stacked up. Ten, Pierce, you got ten kids? Is that what you said? Wow. When do you watch my channel? Some insanity, right? <laughs> yeah, Max, I've been on here since uh, June of 2017. I didn't even know what Planet X was. I had it in a vision. The Lord told me, go show Planet X and tell people I love them. Now, see, guys, I went back a little bit where the sun was. I want you to see it again before I go forward. This day was crazy for me doing this because I, once I started seeing it, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, so the Lord showed me this four times in ten year, um, 35 years. And the last one, I went to WSO and uh, Jeff P. with my teachers to start out with. And I didn't know what a sun. I mean, when I found out the sun was not real, I kind of freaked me out. Okay, I jumped. I jumped to a better piece. Back to that with a little spot. Remember, I tell you about the little spot, right? So I'm going to rehearse this one again so you guys can see it. Yeah, what happened, Max, was you wasn't here, but like um, I was pointing out. See, I was pointing out this little blue one. I, at first, I didn't see that when I was filming it until after I looked at the film and time lapse. But this little blue one shoots over here, guys. This little white cloud looking thing, I thought at first it might have been the sun, but then I got my direction all mixed up. The sun, if you look at the shadows down here, is over here right now. This is no filters, guys. You really got to study it. There's that planet that you'll see it. It's going to be like this in a little bit. But also, lurking below, see right here? This is not a mountain, guys. See this right here? Watch that develop. Now, if I didn't watch this all day while I was hanging out and really look at what was going on, I would have never knew this was there. I would have said, this is a nice cloud. That's all I see. Nice clouds. This thing over here, I don't want to say nothing. I'll let it surprise you later. It'll come back around. So I believe you, Max. You probably got more crazy stuff than I got. I've been hacked five times, and what I what I have right now in one folder, I showed it earlier, a little slideshow of it. There's 16,550 pictures in it, and it's all the subs and my pictures. Some of them are filtered and some of them are not. Hey, Max, I have it. I'm going to go check it. I think I'm subscribed to your channel, but I'll go check it out. And you guys want me to do a shout out on your channel. You got to put together at least uh, like 15 videos in a playlist. Like put your top 15 video playlist together and let me know. And what I'll do is I'll come play your, I'll, I'll go live on your playlist and narrate like I'm doing now. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's, it's too easy, right, Pyrrhus? It's too easy. There's UFOs everywhere, man. Okay, watch, guys. I'm going to get a little circular. Now, you see the black drop? The black drop's really dark blue, and it kind of curves down. Pay attention to that stuff. That's a whole planet sometimes. I did not have this thing down perfect, guys, but I do have, uh, I think I have eyes like Max to see everything. It's 
So yesterday, let me say I got a VMix coming, which is a very hard pro program to learn, but I'm learning it, Garrison. I could do gaming and all that on that thing. But um, to do live streaming shows spontaneous, I'll probably be doing the music just like this until StreamYard or I get my act together on my sound card. My, I cannot figure out how to get my sound card back to the original Windows 10 sound card. So, which causes internal problems with audio. So right now, this is all off a microphone. Now watch all big blue over there to the left of the white planet. <clears throat> See the stripes and all? It's a big planet coming up. The dead giveaways is moon circulating through, you know? That is so obviously a moon. Now, it comes through like this whole system, come, it, like it orbits around like three times, I think. Um, now, remember the picture I showed you, the Hoffman model currently. That red planet's right, right down here around R2. This is R2. Maybe this is R2's moon or lead, ob lead object. This is a smaller stripe planet right here. And then this is that little dark, that little black dot that was coming at us. That looked like it was a little black planet. It is. It's a big black planet. Not black, blackish blue. It's the dark side of the planet. Now, R2 and R2, if that's R2 and R2's moon, um, they could be reflecting all the light bouncing off the Earth, which they probably are. See, that little black dot became that blue planet right there. And I believe what happens is another planet comes up behind it right here, guys. It looks like it anyways. I don't know. Or this could be the whole thing, right? Thank you, Garrison, for being on it, man. I need you guys when you come on. When, when I get a lot of people chatting, it's hard to deal with all the idiots that want to just have their stupid opinions. Um, and you get enough of those. Like you said, Max, you don't want like, I don't want like 5,000 people in my chat. 100 is a good speed. 150. But, um, you know, 33 people watching, 40 people watching, 12 in the chat, I'm happy. I'm showing them, I'm showing them to you as they develop. They're hard to read. I mean, you think it's just clouds and chemtrails, right? But it's not. Look how that white planet just moves over, guys, as it goes through, just moves over. Goes to the left and it goes up and over your head. Meanwhile, look at the shadow over there on the palm trees. The planet's right up like. You see where it says powered by in the corner? The sun's over there somewhere. Way west, up the high in the sky. So yeah, this guy in Minnesota, man, that, that thing needs to be justified quickly before they burn the city down. Because I mean LA might jump in on it, San Francisco might jump in on it as you know as a voice, right? And they could start burning down whole areas of cities if we don't watch it. I mean, you gotta remember. All these crazies are like not working and they're mad. And now you're going to like just bring the cops out in handcuffs, you know, do a court trial like quickly. Don't drag it out for two years. But anyways, that's all I'm going to say about that. I won't go in those riots. Or I won't go in a quiet protest because I've seen quiet protests turn into people dying in the streets, you know, and, and back in the 70s and 60s, quiet protest. If the cops want to make it rowdy, they will, right? Anyways, I'm already shadow banned enough. I don't need to talk about politics. <laughs> then I really need Jesus to help me get out of it. Okay. See how it came back through again. Then this is not repeating the same footage over and over. Look at your trees. You see your shadows are getting up higher on that wall by those trees down there, those palm trees? Because the sun is like over your right shoulder to the, if you pointed right, that's where the sun is. On your right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Matt and Laura said, which, which site? Which one? That was like, I think I got five sites, but I only really take care of two or three of them a lot. Look at the red up here reflecting off this planet coming in, this moon again coming in. It gets a little reflect. But look at this right here, guys. You see this little trail? Watch this, Max. This is like the only way I really want to catch these planets from now on is like in real time, Max. I mean, I could, I could do the one picture shots and I, I got tons of those. I could do the filtering shows. You see the edge of this right here in the background, guys? It's not just the blue sky. You see how it's kind of curved over? You see this right here ripping. This is, elite. This is a OCG, obstacle cluster groups. They have small moons, big moons, rocks, asteroids, meteorites. Fairy dust and whatever else the demons up there in the sky put in it. This thing is ripping to the to the right and up. See so in the time lapse, see the waves, how fast the time lapse is going. You really get to see this stuff action action packed. Now if I put color on that, like if I put a little bit of dehaze and gamma on that thing, you guys would be screaming. It'd be separated from the page. <laughs> I love doing the filters. Got to do filters, man. God's going to reveal the truth on all that. And I, what I've seen in the video is enough to, for me to put that person in jail if I was a judge. Look at that moon just rip around. You can see an elite object. Uh, you can see all the OCG, the obstacle cluster group right behind it. It's a couple big moons right to the left of that planet. Okay. AI is awakening people. You see, it's a uh, quarter to 10. I will probably be live again with some uh, filtering. If I have a ton of stuff I got ready. So you guys are being watched. 5G is blasting us and, uh, you know, protect yourself. Psalm 91. Lift your hallelujahs to the Lord's. To the Lord, I raise my hallelujah to the Lord. Yeah, I'm not just CCTV cams. They're all over the place. I'm just taking pictures of what they're showing. So caution, you're being watched. Now, I did this because it's like they want to unlock our minds with these computer robot chips. Elon Musk wants to tap into our DNA, right? I say this. I say this. Get Jesus today. That's what I'm talking about. Let Jesus unlock your heart. Let Jesus unlock your attitude. Let Jesus unlock your addictions and get you free. That's what I'm talking. Let the kingdom of God come now, Father. Got Jesus. Talk to you later, guys.